You know, this subject is kind of interesting to me. I've kind of kept it very close to myself and haven't really talked about it, but maybe sharing will help bring more insight and light to the situation. Years back, I got to this place where I knew I could no longer trust my earth family. And that's a very difficult conclusion to come to, especially when you're pretty young. But when it happens to you, you really have a choice to kind of evolve or stay stuck in that really limiting sort of like generational curse. So I chose to really move on, but I needed support, right? And I began really getting support from different modalities of healing. It's interesting. I started going to sound healing uh, groups and started to really focus on my own uh, relationship to sound because it felt like more than anything, like I was being held. I remember one particular night I came home from a sound healing session and I felt that I, I had kind of gotten to a frequency where I could see and feel and and even here on a different level my senses had been upgraded by this healing session and I remember very distinctively looking outside of my window this was a time where I lived like in this area where the forest was right behind my house and there was all sorts of magic and things happening back in that forest. But one of the biggest things that happened was my star family on this particular night when I looked outside of my window, the entire backyard slash forest area was just like a collective, a congregation of my star family. Through that session that I had earlier that evening, I had broke through some barriers and it was it was like an opportunity for me to raise my frequency high enough for me to interact with higher level sentient light beings. I got a really good psychic third eye type of look at this collective. This, like I said, it was like a congregation of family. They had come to me and said, you know what, we know what you went through. And we have been supporting you through this entire thing. So come to us and we will travel with you. We're, we're going to journey with you. We're going we're gonna to bring you into higher planes of existences. We can allow you to join our collective as long as you stay heart-based. As long as you keep yourself in this higher frequency. Over the years, I, I did more healing and I got more aligned with myself and I had even more experiences so basically I learned that these ships sometimes you see them in the sky sometimes you feel them at night when you're asleep there's all different types of ways that they can integrate into our reality but it's very difficult to kind of speak on the nature of their of their matter, I would say. Evolved technology way past the human species. But it allows us to get to the next level. Maybe this isn't for everyone. But I feel that if you have had very extreme earth experiences, like near-death experiences... For me, I've had multiple. It kind of takes you to that gateway. And I call them permission slips. The universe will give you a permission slip at those points of it. You know, say you have a near-death experience. Your soul is at a crossroads where you have to make an agreement or you have to break an agreement. It's basically a point where... Um, the universe gives us permission slips to create. I would get to that point in my journey where it would be so extreme on earth, but I would choose to stay. I'd always choose to stay. 
my love for Gaia is insurmountable. The the animals, the the joy this land brings, some of her people are just incredible. So um, I've gotten to the point where I wanted to really, really continue to co-create with Gaia and continue to evolve through the earth plane. Now my soul also wanted to make an agreement that I have access to other star systems while I'm basically rooted into this vehicle, into this body on the earth plane. I wanted to be able to have support on that higher level so that I can continue to survive and thrive in such a harsh, you know, lower 3D uh, planet. So I think it's all about what you agree to, what you really choose to believe. Because, you know, I'll be honest, if you don't believe in light ships, I mean, I, you're you're not you're not going to get on. <laughs> I mean, you're you just you have to be a certain amount of openness and receptiveness and higher vibratory type of lifestyle. I notice my diet really will determine how much I can travel, how much I can really connect to the light. Um, the alkalinity in my diet really is kind of what deciphers on how much my vehicle can conduct in terms of light. You can travel, you're a light being. It's like your birthright to be able to journey between star systems and different planetary systems. I think it's just cool to know that we have support in other dimensions. We have other collectives, higher levels of consciousness, you know, we have also contracts with other star systems. This is all meant to be supportive for us while we're on the earth plane. Because let's be honest, this is one of the most difficult missions for any, um, for any soldier, you know, for anybody that's been on their ascension path. This is it. This is when we get all of our keys but we have to take all of these tests. So just get the support where you can. For me, like I said, I had to learn to become transparent to my star family, other star races. I had to learn to speak their language because unfortunately my, you know, my earth family didn't understand the heart-based language and that's okay. That's okay because just like you, I have other contracts. I have other agreements where I'm going to be supported in other dimensions and on other frequencies. You have to find it within yourself. We're meant to be light travelers. We're not meant to be just stuck in dense matter. We can move through with our higher consciousness while we're still here embodied. And yeah, just my advice is to stargaze look into yourself as well find that light that's reflecting outward and you'll learn to go into higher versions of yourself where you can then connect with higher forces light forces your light family